this is Brian Oliva at Gethsemane Music. Today we're going to do a firmware update on your Matriarch using a Mac. This will work on your grandmother as well. We'll start by connecting your Mac to your Matriarch. This can be done with a MIDI DIN connector through an audio interface or directly by USB. Since I don't have a cable with a USB-C connector, I'm going to use this docking station to connect a USB a connector to the Matriarch's USB-B connector. You can use any cable, it'll hook the two together. To get the firmware, we're going to go to the Moog Music website, log into your account, go to the Matriarch section, open up the Firmware tab, and download the latest version of the firmware. That file also contains all the documentation. Extract the SysX files, you'll find three of them, to your Documents folder. Moog recommends using a file called SysX Librarian by Snoyes. If you don't have that, you can download it from www.snoyes.com. Once that's installed, you can just open it up. And we'll start by loading the three SysX files invalidate, erase, and then the actual firmware update. Just hit the plus sign to load the three of them into the SysX librarian. Next, select Moog Matriarch to be the destination. Select Invalidate and hit the play button. That sends a short file to invalidate the current firmware and you should see the arpeggiator rate light start to flash red and green. Next send the erase file to erase the old firmware. Reselect Moog Matriarch, hit play. And that's also a quick file and you should see the rate light now flashing just green. Finally, select the firmware and hit the play button, and that'll start about a six minute transmission. You should see the rate light flashing yellow. Be patient for this and make sure that the entire firmware patch is sent. With SysX Librarian, it's pretty easy because it has a blue bar that tracks how much is sent. Not all the programs have that. When the firmware update is completed, the blue bar should disappear, the matriarch should reboot, and you should see the rate light flashing red again. That's all there is to it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.